Uh, for some reason, this is one of the hardest things uh, for students to catch on to, but a coterminal angle and uh, revolutions. Revolutions are pretty easy, but coterminal angle really throws people for a loop. What a coterminal angle is. So I've already discussed what a terminal angle is. So if we've got an xy axis, we start here at zero degrees. This is our initial ray. I'll do it in blue. So this is our initial ray. Um, and then maybe we want to end here. We're going to go in a positive, uh, maybe this is 225 degrees. Okay, I'll stay, out, I'll stay away from radians right now. And so this is my terminal ray. Okay. And uh, I'll put a little 225 so that we can kind of pay attention to what's going on. Okay, so coterminal basically means this. It means I can keep rotating around the center here, around that point, rotating this ray. And I could go all the way around. And so now, 225 degrees, since it's in the same location, in the xy plane when it's less than 360 um, I know that 225 would be in the same position as let's see if I do 360 that'd be 585 degrees so 225 and 585 are called coterminal because they'll end up if you did 585 degrees, you'd end up in the same location as the terminal angle. And you can kind of test that out. You know, let's say we started, we started here at zero and went around, there's 180. Then we went and kept going, there's uh, 360. And now we're going to add 225 to that. Well, 360 plus 225 is 585 degrees and so they're coterminal so that's kind of messy so let's get us a fresh page and uh, you could have positive coterminals and negative coterminals so let's say we had uh, 45 degrees we'll kind of keep it keep it easy okay so 45 degrees is my terminal ray put terminal here so that's my terminal ray, and here's my angle, 45 degrees. I just went just a short little chunk there. Okay, so to find a positive coterminal, you're basically going to go around, here's 45, and then we're going to go clear around 360 degrees until we end up back at that terminal ray. So that would be, a coterminal ray would be 360 plus 45, and this would be the positive coterminal. So that would be 405 degrees. So 45 degrees and 405 degrees are called coterminal. Okay, you could also have the negative coterminal angle. So if we start here and go backwards, that's a negative angle, and we end here at the terminal ray, well, that's um, 360 minus uh, 45, or, well, so basically I went backwards and uh, that would be 225, let's see, yeah, no nope, more than that, sorry, my mess up, that would be, you don't borrow from the 3, that would be 300 and, borrow here, I should show my work, 315 degrees. So 315 degrees and it would be negative because I'm going in the, the backwards direction the cool, not backwards, the clockwise direction. That's a negative angle. So negative 315, all of these are coterminal. Negative 315, 45, and uh, uh, 405. And you can keep going in that negative direction, or the positive direction for that matter. So let's say I'm here at negative 315 degrees because I went around to the 45 degree terminal angle and if you keep going so let's add another negative 360 to that 
So negative 315 plus another negative circle would give you um, 675 degrees negative. So that's another coterminal angle that's, in this case, negative. So you can get positives by adding 360. You can get negative coterminals by subtracting 360 or adding a negative 360 because of the direction you're headed. And there are an infinite amount of those. You can go as many times as you want. And in fact, because we don't want to list a 5,000 degree angle, we came up with revolutions. Okay, a revolution, you know, you've had had it before you might have maybe 45 rpm or 4500 rpm that'd be a car that is wrapped up pretty pretty good uh, cruising down the road probably at 4500 rpm and what that means is revolutions per minute so you got to imagine this crankshaft turning circles 4,500 times in a minute. You know, CDs might be 50 times in a minute or 1,000 times in a minute. So here's your record player and CD, CD speed, if you remember what a record player is. But to find the angle to that, let's say it was 45 RPM. Well, that's 45 revolutions. So 45 times around a circle. Well, I know one full circle is 360 degrees, so it would be 45 revolutions times 360 degrees. And 45 times 360 degrees is 16,200 degrees, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, you know, in terms of you wouldn't use that angle. You'd use revolutions, not this big 16,200 degrees. But they are the same, and you can convert them back and forth that way. So there is coterminal and uh, revolutions and revolutions per minute. I uh, hope this helps. Good luck. I probably have a couple more of these videos floating around out there, and I'll try and combine them all for this assignment. So see you next time. Have a good one.